Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a living room and home by me. And in previous videos, I've seen that home by me videos have gotten a lot of attention on my channel in terms of subscribers and views. So anyways, I decided to make some more videos about it in order to keep you guys interested. So, back to the video. First, for the living room, I'm going to make the walls first. And I'm going to start one of the walls there. And the living room should be about six meters, I'd say, or maybe six and a half. I'm gonna put about six fifty, around that much. And then I'm gonna keep it like kind of like a square, so it's kind of relatively same. So I'll keep that about there, about there, and there. Now that's my room. I'm gonna validate that for now. We can go in three D mode. And just check it out. Not much to check out right now, but you can just look at it. Just for the size reference. Maybe maybe you have to make it a little bigger. We can always extend it when we go back to 2D mode. So I'm gonna go like that. Click on the wall. And then you can edit. You can change the thickness of the wall and the height of the wall. I don't need to do that. So I can just stretch it like that. Say that much. Now let's go back to 3D mode. And that looks more like the size of your living room now. So trying to furnish it. So you go to furnish and then you can search where you want. Right now, um for the living room I'll do a sofa first. So search the sofa. Mm. You can choose whichever one you like. I'll choose this one because I like it. You can add that to project. I'm gonna make the living room face this way. You can always rotate it whichever side you want to, depending on which house, which size your house faces. The living room there. So that's the sofa right in the center of the living room. And now I'm gonna furnish it even more with some lamps. So, oh sorry, I just searched up lamps. I just searched up floor lamps. Oops. There we go. So, floor lamps. Oh, that one, that one looks nice. Put one there. You can also switch it on. Doesn't make too much of a difference. But that's a lamp. That's a sofa. Now I'll add a fireplace. So I feel like that's the only one there. So I'm gonna add that to project. Put that there. It's nice. Uh, now for like the sofa, I'm gonna add a carpet and table. So first, I'm gonna add the car carpet. Or let me just say a rug. Think there was better options. Mm, that one looks nice. Just gonna add that. Turn that around. Now you can see the rug over there. Looks good. Slightly under the couch, it makes it look more real. Now for the table. Furnish. I mean, I'm gonna search up center table. Mm, this one looks nice. Uh, that's the project. And place that over there. Rotate it towards the couch so it looks better. Mm, and maybe we can increase the size of the rug because the rug kind of looks small compared to the table. So you can always edit the rug and change the width. Like you can increase the width. 
I increase the depth. Look, looks so much better now. Now it's more under the table, more under the couch. It looks more real. And now I'm gonna add a TV. So you go to furnish and then search for TV. So these are all different TVs, different sizes. That one's a 55 inch, that one's a 65 inch, that one's a 75 inch. I also had the biggest one I could find. I'm gonna put that there, and as you see, it's in the fireplace. So what you can do is use this button and drag it upwards. Place it on the fireplace. And now you see that the TV is just floating midair on the fireplace. It's not even on the fireplace. So what you can do is extend the size of the fireplace. And then Maybe we can just replace it because that one's kind of small. Maybe we should just add a TV stand, you know? I'll make it easier. And then put the TV a little there. Add the size of the TV. And make the TV a little small. There we go. So. As you see, we can do all kind of things in Home by Me. You can even change the size of the TV. You can change the size of the room. You can change the size of the wall. You can do everything you want. So for now, the walls really look kind of dull. So we can add some wallpaper. So, I mean, wallpaper. So, I'm pretty sure there's no wallpaper in Home by Me. So instead of making wallpaper, we can just add like photo frames to like spice things up. I'm gonna add that one, Eiffel Tower. Place that one there. Put another one. A six piece photo frame. Kinda small. Hmm, that's weird. Maybe you don't need it. We can just remove it. And another one. Maybe this one. I'm gonna add this one in this end. And then we can make another one in the middle. So, I can add this one. Make sure it's equally distanced apart. And just place it. Now you see that makes the living room look a little more like full and has more depth to it. And now we can add some windows in front of the living room, obviously. And then switch up windows. And then any kind of windows you like. For the video purpose, I'm gonna make this one. Put that there. And you see this arc. That means which side the window would open from. So, you just carefully decide where your arc should be, depending on your house. That one there and that one there. Looks good. Go back to 3D mode. As you see, the windows make it look better. And if you have windows, you should probably have a curtain. So I'm going to search up curtain. Mm, I'm going to add this one. Add one there, and we can duplicate that, and add that one here. Perfect. So now we can always empty. I mean, sorry, not empty. We can always close the windows or close the curtains if you want. And that's pretty much it. That's how you make a living room in Home by Me. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit the like hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It always helps me. So, thank you.